Uh, hello, this is Tolo from Trifo Productions with, with another Blender quick tip. I know I haven't put up a uh, tutorial in quite some time. It's been at least three or four months. I've just been working on the bands or actually the production company's website, trifoproductions.org. And I'll put a link of that in the description uh, below so you guys can check it out and let me know what you think, whether it's worth looking at or not worth looking at. Just, just let me know and I'll adjust it accordingly. But today I'm just going to show you how to take a line of script or code or syntax that you've written as a as an add-on or you maybe click on an add-on and a script comes up you're trying to figure out how you can import that into blender or use it in blender uh, for example here we have uh, an add-on an open street map add-on which is really good and what it does it takes um, street layouts aerial, aerial shots of street layouts and turns them into meshes so you can make or generate cities from it. And then when you go to the place where you should download it and install, you would click on that link there, and this would come up, which is just a line of uh, or a lot of code and syntax and, and uh, a lot of stuff that you're trying to figure out. Well, how am I supposed to use this in Blender? But what you do is you can press Control A to select all, right click on your mouse and press Copy from the uh, pop-up menu. <clears throat> Excuse me. You can open up Blender. I'm using Blender 2.78. You can use any version of Blender. It works for all versions. Uh, click out of the uh, splash screen there. Go to the bottom left hand corner of your workstation and click on the little icon there and then choose Text Editor. This is where you write code, import code, syntax, everything goes to the text editor then you press new and then when you press new you'll see there's a little line here which means you can enter in code I'm typing now you can just enter in codes enter in text and everything in here but we're not going to write code from scratch we're just going to uh, paste in the code we copied from that other page so you right click again and press paste and you'll see that the code appears in uh, the window here then you go to edit or actually text and then you press save as all right then you choose where you, you want to save uh, this this add-on and I'm just just for the sake of this tutorial I'm just going to choose my desktop click on desktop and I'm gonna just import I'm just gonna put a name in there let me just say um, cityscape cityscape and the key thing is at the end of you entering in your the name of your add-on always put in dot py that's crucial and press enter and then save as and then when you minimize the window here minimize that also you'll see that now that line all that syntax all that code is now an add-on cityscape.py and then to use it in Blender, you go to File, and then you go to uh, User Preference. And here's where you, you install add-ons for Blender. And then you go to Install from File. Let's click on that. Hopefully this is not freezing up here. Okay, don't crash. Uh, come on. Oh. Let me open up Blender again because I think it just, it's not Blender that crashed, it's just my computer. I've just got a lot of stuff open on it. Open up Blender again. We're going to install that add-on we just, we just uh, made here. File again. And then user preference. Install from file. And then go to wherever you save that .py file, which is your add-on. And I saved mine on the desktop. Click on desktop, and there it is cityscape.py. Install from file, and it's right there. And you just click the box to activate it in Blender, and there you go. And that's all you have to do. So, to recap, uh, when it comes to turning a line of code or, or syntax or script into a .py add on, uh, select all of the text, all of the code, 
right click copy open up blender open up your text editor or your text editor there you are click new right click your mouse again paste go to text save as save it where you want to save it and then your file name always remember at the end of your file name always put dot py to make it a python script that blender can actually read and import it as an add-on all right that's today's uh, blender quick tip uh, thanks for watching i hope it helps out as many people as it can all right you guys have a great day all right bye